Welcome back to the Transport Bandit Channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. And we got a 32 foot fifth wheel Arcadia. We did. We got back to Goshen. There was a snowstorm coming into Goshen and we thought we were going to have a snow day sitting it out at the Elmer's Walmart. No snow day for the Transport Bandits. Keep working. Well, we woke up that morning um, and got a call from, well, we went in the office and then we got a call from our dispatcher and she has us a load going west towards Montana. And um, we think that, oh, it's 11 o'clock. We can get loaded up. We should be able to make it to yeah, we Fargo. We should be able to deliver Friday. Because they don't take ex uh, deliveries on the weekend. Yeah, we should have been able to deliver Friday. Mm -hmm. But we got several things going on. And it's called Snow. winter weather. Snow. Wind. Whatever. All the worst parts of the Bible. <laughs> so we we hook up, we go through Chicago. We have decided to take I-94. That's the upper route across America. That's the most northern interstate across America. 94. Now you would think you would not go north in the winter time. Like, but actually, the further north you can get crossing in the winter time, the better. The better, because for some reason it doesn't get as cold and snowy further north well, as it, it gets, does it on. Gets a, it 90. gets a lot colder. Yeah, but it doesn't. So slick. the snow and stuff doesn't stick to the road as much. Yeah. Because but, it's so cold. But then again, like in this case, sometimes it just can't be avoided. Snowstorms. Well, in any case. We got out of Goshen, we got through uh, the outskirts of Chicago, hit Wisconsin. Our plan was to make it to Fargo. Yeah, probably Fargo. On Wednesday night. Fargo to um, middle of past Lendai, Montana on Thursday night. Yep, probably, and then make delivery on Friday. Yeah, well, we didn't do that. Well, then it started snowing again pretty yesterday. Bad. The pretty road bad. started getting a little rough, so we called it. And we ended up in the middle of Wisconsin because it just started getting too dicey outside. And we shut it down. It's better safe than sorry when you're driving in the winter time. And so now we have found out the next day when we could have still possibly made delivery by Friday afternoon. Yeah, that ain't happen on that. We have found out that there is a massive wind event happening, a wind advisory, high wind warning. Yeah, but that's not all. That's not all. This interstate we're on now, up the road here, what, maybe 200 miles? It's white. It's bad. Bad, bad snowstorm. Snow like a quick moving, huge, huge snowstorm coming on I-94 between Bismarck and the Montana line. Right. They're forecasting 8 to 14 inches in Montana. And in front of that is the, the wind. Yeah, the in front and time. behind is a, a massive wind advisory, 35 to 45 miles per hour. So sometimes, you know, Cheryl, sometimes you're just money and you just shut it down. Yeah. So we are going to leisurely get ourselves out there. There's no way we can make delivery by... Um, Friday, so we've got we have to wait until Monday to make delivery because we automatically know that snowstorm could shut us down, that wind could shut us down, and we would have to sit and wait anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drive right up to that storm, <laughs> right to the edge of it, and we're going to pull over. We're going to pull over. <laughs> We're not going to say like on Forrest Gump, is that all you got? No, because I know that's not all it's got. No, we're going to play it safe. <laughs> oh, and, and I apologize for the state of the back of our truck. It's not bad. My maid has really not been keeping up her duties. Yeah, it's not bad. It does look like you have a dead rat behind you, though. You guys have all seen my, my winter snow bogging, right? It's practically a dog in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. So anyway, I just wanted to apologize to the viewers for that mess. No, I cleaned it up a little because, bit. Because, you know, my maid has really been slacking. What maid? Uh, yeah, you don't have a maid. Yeah. 
he doesn't have a maid. <laughs> I clean that up for my purposes more than yours. Okay, your maid has been slacking. <laughs> my maid has been slacking. <laughs> In any case, so we're, now we're like, okay, we're going to not even make, be able to make it to Bismarck today. It's getting cloudier and cloudier outside. Some more snow is on the way. We are going to meet up with our friend. Kip. Kip. Kip Milton. And, um, oh, we got to meet Ray Christie this morning. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, we were there forever. And, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I gave Ray plenty of hints. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to move on the road. But Cheryl just wouldn't shut up. Well, me and Ray was just Ray talking was, away. I even I got, love, I I even got the, the transporters. Truck. I started the truck, put my seatbelt on. They're still out there going at it. <laughs> I like to talk to other transporters. Nothing wrong with that. You get good information, right? But now that we know that we don't, we can't drive very far today. We can only do maybe 300 miles, and we are going to meet up with your friend Kip. Right? My Kip, brother. Your brother, your Marine Corps brother, uh, Kip Milton. You know, we've known him since we've been married, even well, before we were yep. married even. Yep. And he is an over-the-road trucker, and he is on this interstate heading the opposite direction. So we are in terms with him as a beat-up place, and we may go to Mama Murphy's if there's parking. Because yep. we got to be able to park this rig, and then, of course, he'd have to park his big semi-rig. So if there is parking, we'll go and eat some lunch somewhere. We'll find, we'll find parking. We found us a cute little place, Irish pub. That yeah, sounds fun. It does sound fun. But I can't guarantee you we'll see that. It may end up being McDonald's. Did you, say, did you say this was an Irish pub? It's an Irish pub. Maybe I can find an Irish maid. An Irish maid? Yeah, come out here and clean up the truck. <laughs> and clean up the back of the truck. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she'll do um, one of those river dances or something. Yeah, whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to just get thrown out anytime now. They're going to tell us to get out of Minnesota. Um, so we are in Minnesota right now, headed towards Fargo, and that storm is blazing towards us. So we don't know how far we will get. Storm blazing towards us and we're blazing towards it. Yep, we're going to meet it head on. I'd say around Fargo or shortly after. Uh, like it depends said, on how long our lunch yeah, is. I'm going to drive right up to that storm. And I'm going to get on the truck and shake my fist at it. I'm going to say we're pulling over here. <laughs> we're pulling over. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to wait until you do your thing and then let you pass on by. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to show you some lunch, and then we're going to try and get on out here, and you're coming with us, so thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Oh, yeah, and just so everybody knows what it's like on the road. Yeah. Everything we're doing out here, like I'm holding it right now because I'm going to stop at a rest area up here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we have to stop at a rest area. Before yeah. we meet up with That's you. That's how much composure I have. I have to go right now. <laughs> yeah, are you doing the pee-pee dance? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, but I'm going to stop at a rest area. We got a rest area coming but, up in like 10 miles. You can wait, right? Yes, I can because, you know what? Why? I'm not prairie dogging. No, okay, that's not going in. Yes, that's it is. Enough. That's funny. Nope. That's going out. Okay, that's too much. So you're going to come with us. We're going to Oh, we've got some blowing snow already. All right, take a look at this. And this is our traveling companion, Mr. Bones. Say hello to Mr. Bones. He doesn't care that there's a storm coming. Okay, we got Kip is parked over here at the Walmart and right across the street is Mabel Murphy's. So that's where it's going to be our lunch stop for today. Do you want to go over and pick up Kip? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go pick Kip up so he doesn't have to walk. Well, I've climbed in the back seat and we're going to pick Kip up and take him for a ride over to Mabel oh, Murphy's. Hey, Kip! There he is. Ah. How you doing? Good. Say hi to the YouTube people. Yo, YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's go to Mabel Murphy's. Okay, so we're here at Mabel Murphy's Irish style American eatery pub. Yeah. Recommended by our friend Kip. Say hi to Kip. Say hi to Kip, everybody. Say hi, Kip. 
Hi, you betcha. <laughs> you betcha for, <laughs> for sure. sure. <laughs> well, now we're all like, y'all come back now, you hear? And Kip's all, you betcha for sure. Yeah. That's, that's super, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to practice our Midwest here in the restaurant and see if they can tell that we're from the South. So that's not going to work out too well. I'll and, just let Kip talk for me. <laughs> yeah, and get us something good to eat. We are on exit uh, 54 off of I-94 in Fergus Falls, Minnesota, Mabel Murphy's. Let's go. This is the Carhartt Yukon Extreme. That's what you need today. All right, we're up in Alaska, okay? We're in Anchorage. Go to this big outdoor store. This young kid in there, this little punk, you know, well, excuse me, he was a nice guy. <laughs> He's telling me all about the jacket, right? I mean, we went over like 45 minutes telling me about the jacket. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But then at the end, he said one thing that made me buy it, Kip. What's that? He said, if I set myself on fire, this jacket is self-extinguishing. I said, sold. <laughs> That's it. You have no idea how often I set myself on fire. <laughs> it's the perfect Carhartt Yukon Extreme wow. jacket. Look how cool this is. What a beautiful place. Oh, cool. Okay, this is Mabel Murphy's exit 54 off of I-94, Fergus Falls. What a cool little place this is. Oh! <laughs> hey. Yeah. This place is romantic. It is. But I we... may have to send Kip back to the truck. <laughs> Kip, you're going to have to leave for a little while because we've got a romantic fire. we got bookcases. It's so pretty. Yeah, look, at the, look at the fire that we got going here. Nice and warm. We're going to take a tour of Mabel Murphy's. How pretty. Look at these dining rooms. Oh, really nice. So, you know, it's not just you know, your regular standard pub. I mean, this place has a lot of character. And of course, we're here in the middle of the day, so it's not very busy right now. But this place would be awesome to come to. We open back up at five in the dining room. Dining, dining starts at five. They put uh, corn out there for, and then we have deer. <gasps> the deer would come up here. And you could watch the deer while you dine. How cool is that? Yeah. Really beautiful place here. And since this whole closed, the lights are off, so it's easier to see if the lights are on. But here's the other dining room. I love the wood timbers. Yeah. And you know, I'm going to tell you the whole story of Mabel Murphy here in a little while, because it's a big story. Look at that. That's cool, that's a replica of the building that we just walked into from outside. And you know, they have truck parking at the Walmart that's just right across the street. You can just park over there, walk across the street if you can't get into this parking lot. Look at this great, great fireplace. Wow. You know, they just don't build them like this anymore. This is, you know, this is so much better than your average Wendy's, McDonald's. It gives you something for your eyes to feast on other than your standard place to stop and eat where we're all bored of. This is another room that's smaller, but the lights are on and there's a window so it's harder to see, but... Ooh, ghostly. Do you, have, <laughs> do you have any ghosts? They do say that um, there's a lady named Mabel that haunts the place. Uh, that Mabel herself? Yep. Okay, now <laughs> Mabel came over from Ireland during the potato famine, right? <laughs> she was shipwrecked and swam on the shore of the Lake Superior and uh, rolled down a hill basically and met a rancher and now she has Mabel Murphy's Irish pub. <laughs> Fellas, what have you got here? Well, we got these big pretzel sticks and wow. beer cheese. Beer cheese. Can't go wrong there. That looks okay. really good. Kip's really excited about the beer cheese. Cheese and beer. Cheese Can't and beer. Wrong. Can't go yeah. wrong. That's it. Let's dig in. All right, what's your review of the pretzels and beer cheese? That's fantastic. Can't get enough of that cheese. That cheese is so delicious. Mm. Really, really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the, these are these are like really hot too. The hot pretzels and the salt, mm, delicious. Last we have the really popular plum wings, where people get them on the plum sauce on the side. Plum sauce. Yeah, to get brandy plum sauce. And you make all these these homemade soups like yep. the beer cheese, the beer all cheese homemade, homemade right here. And um, yeah, all of our soups are homemade and. Um, oh, yeah, bring it on over here. So yeah, he's heating it up right now, and we'll have it out too shortly. And if you want to, I don't know, dip your fries in it. Awesome. Yes. yes. And then we also sell a lot of uh, pints and quart jars of soups, dressings, oh. and make homemade. Yeah, so um, you can get your pints, quarts, all of your yeah. soups, all your dressings right here to take home with you. Yep. Awesome. Look at this. What did you get, Jeff? You just got a standard bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. That looks awesome. Look at the kip burger. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. That's crazy. Onion rings. We're going to a coma. <laughs> the food coma is coming. And I got the fish and chips with the waffle fries and tartar sauce on the side. Okay, Mr. Dimples. I'm telling you, that is a good burger. One of the best I've had in a long time. That is a, I mean, that's a crazy looking good burger. Look at that. Holy cow. Yep, it's got a really good like fresh grilled taste to it. Excellent. Let's dig in. All right, look at this. This is brand homemade brandy plum sauce. You use it as a dipping sauce for your for your onion rings, your fries, put it on your burger. Brandy plum sauce. And Kip, you say it's good? Hmm. Very good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good. What did you think of that? I don't know. This might be my favorite restaurant of all time. It's our favorite restaurant now in the whole Midwest. Yeah, you betcha for sure. I think in the United States. In the whole, no, what about Shady Maple? Because that's different, that's a buffet. Is it going to knock out Shady Maple as our favorite <coughs> place in the whole world to eat? No, but it was definitely, it's definitely up there here in Fergus Falls. We are going to come back here and do a more extensive video because there's a lot of history in there with all the books and the waitress, um, Melissa, showed us around and talked to us for a long time about the place. It was awesome. Okay, so we're going to roll on towards the big snowstorm now that is headed towards us. We don't know how far we're going to make it. We're going to sit it out. We probably aren't going to get much further than Fargo. So that's why we're just kind of goofing off today and waiting for this storm to pass. And then we might be able to roll on after that or just take out tomorrow since we can't deliver till Monday anyway. So let's jump in the truck. Mr. Bones is out there and he's ready to roll. Hey, thanks Kip for meeting us and treating us to this fabulous dinner or lunch here at Mabel Murphy's. Should've got a senior discount, Jeff. <laughs> Should've got a, there's Mr. Can't Bones. Even think of it. He's chilled to the bone. Oh, that's what those are for? Transport bent, a little snow covered. Yeah, get that ice off of there. Holy crap. Give me a right. hug, Bye, we love you. There we go. See <laughs> All that good stuff. Yep. Be safe out there, Kit. Well, or not. Or not. <laughs> All right. My truck. Look, this is his truck right here. I can barely see Mr. Bones' feet hanging there. He's got a little <laughs> Mr. Bones hanging up there. Okay. Bye. There he goes. liking this too much. Nope, we're going to be shutting it down. If not, if we don't make it to Fargo, it might have to be before Fargo, because once that snow starts blowing like that and that wind picks up, it's a no-go. Um, I don't think we're at 25 mile per hour sustained wind yet, but it's increasingly getting faster, and this is a fast-moving storm, and we don't need that snow blowing us sideways on this road, so we're going to shut it down soon. Right now, right here, the roads look pretty good. And yet, two seconds later, we have this.
lived in here at the Walmart. Okay, this is our view for the evening. We're stopped at the Fargo Walmart and the snowstorm is here. It's blowing pretty hard, snowing. Just got stopped and we'll see you guys in the morning. We're on the interstate now, and there se seems to be a, quite a few people that didn't make it on the interstate, so I'm glad we had gotten off when we did last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they got Camper. rolled back. Camper the, or semis or? No, it's... Mostly, well, there's a... A car with a cargo trailer. A truck with a cargo trailer was yeah, right there. keeps waking me up <laughs> every 30 minutes Jeff Jeff it's snowing Jeff Jeff there's a snow plow outside <laughs> they get fall back sleep get woke back up Jeff 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 the wind is 50 miles an hour <laughs> fall asleep wake back up <laughs> Jeff 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 that's not rain that's ice <laughs> all, all night, every 30 minutes. It was exciting last night. I mean, it was blowing 50 miles an hour. It was rocking the truck, the, the camper. It was sleeting, and then it would turn to snow, and there were snow plows going everywhere. Don't get me wrong. I love her. But, you know, she is like some sort of weather kid. You know? <laughs> I get excited just, when I see it, weather. It's just mad. I mean, I, 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 I would really, I could be, have been a weather person or a storm chaser or something. Yeah. In any case, though, we survived the storm. It was still extremely windy when we woke up, and it's extremely cold. It was like 13 degrees. Yeah, so we got a late start. We got a late start, but now there's another storm in Montana, snowstorm. We are headed across North Dakota all day. It's nothing but white out. The roads are good, so we got good dry roads, um, but it's a lot of white. And everything is white. Yep, everything is white. But uh, we're gonna try and, since we can't deliver until Monday, we're just gonna try and get across North Dakota, try and make it to Glendale, and uh, stay there at the Flying J. Maybe get a shower, do some wash or something like that. And uh, no, uh, we will get a shower. Yeah, definitely get a shower. I smell funny. <laughs> no, you don't smell funny. I don't smell funny? You don't smell funny. I, I make sure he doesn't smell funny even when he does smell funny. Cheryl sure, smells funny. <laughs> Thank you for telling the entire world I smell funny. I appreciate it. She does. She smells I, funny. I love those sleep methods you say to me. Time for a shower. <laughs> yeah, that's it. After, after 35 years of marriage, <laughs> yeah, we're not above telling each other when it's time to take a shower. I'm glad I don't smell funny. You don't smell, I make sure you don't smell funny. Yeah, you smell funny. Thank you, I appreciate it. I can't make sure you don't smell funny. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> That's right. Keep your nose over there. And your feet. But in any case, uh, we're just gonna, we can't deliver till Monday. It's Friday. There's a storm, a massive snowstorm in Montana happening right now. 
and uh, so we're just gonna have to play it by ear. That's the way winter driving goes. Um, sometimes it just takes longer to get there. Okay. Back to smelling funny. That reminds me of another time I got woke up last night in the middle of the night. What? My feet were cold. Yeah. So I wake up and Cheryl's sitting at the end of the bed, the covers off my feet, <laughs> a bottle of powder shaking them on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put, I have to What's keep, going on? I have to keep uh, pa foot powder, you know, because, you know, you're in the truck together. Why not wake me up first and say, hey, I'm going to put some powder on your feet? <laughs> you didn't, no, yeah, I didn't nope. think it would wake you up if I shook the little powder on your feet, right? I guess. <laughs> yeah, wives, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, I had a rough night last night, I really did. <laughs> well, I'll leave you alone tonight for sure. Now here's the great white north of North Dakota. That's all we're looking at today. Let's go. Theodore Roosevelt National Park that I-94 goes right through. Here's some wild horses. to Glendive, Montana. It's 25 degrees and that is not wet. It appears to be rain, but you know that's got to be ice. So we're stopping as soon as we can. We don't have a rest area or any place to get off. We're in very rural area right now for another 25 miles but we will pull over on the side of the road if it gets any worse than this or anything that Jeff can't handle because, you know, ice is ice. Snow's one thing, but ice is another. Yep, it's definitely freezing rain or ice. And look, look, look at these people going that fast. He doesn't care. We're um, getting ice caking up on the windshields. Uh, this is ice right here taking it very slow and steady we only got 15 miles to go and we're out of windshield wiper fluid we've got the defrosters on high that's helped a lot and um, just taking it slow and steady just a few more miles The icing has stopped, thank goodness. We had a couple of transporters like Kelly Doyle and Jim Doyle, they were uh, praying for us because we had let them know we had run into ice. There's a couple of really bad wrecks back on 90 in Wisconsin due to the snowstorm, but we're only about three miles from our stop, so thank you for the prayers. And there's the Dinosaur Museum. Crossing the Yellowstone River. We've made our exit safely. Fantastic. I'm gonna go over here to the Flying J. They've got a great parking area. Get us a shower, 
something to eat and park right here at Glendive, Montana. We made it. We've got our windshield wiper fluid. And I got some 20. additive. You got some additive? Let's go fuel up. Yep. And we've also got some anti-gel too. This is just good stuff. What is this? The uh, Lucas fuel conditioner. Yeah. Right here. Put an additive in your tank every single time. We do anyway. Well, we try to. Yep. And then we are going to go get fuel here because this is our discount here. And I have an app, the Flying J app. You can do all of that answering question stuff from the Flying J app. It brings you up a code on your phone and you don't even have to stick your card in. Just just press the code into the gas pump and you don't have to answer all those questions like we had on our video where you got your fuel discounts and had to be at the pump answering all those questions. So that makes it great when it's 25 degrees outside. That's what you want to do. Okay, can't use my app. Look at that hair. Look at that blowing in the wind. Can't use my app because this is actually a town pump. And in Montana, pilots and flying jays are actually like not pilot flying jays for some reason. And sometimes you can't use your points. I don't know what the deal is, but your discount for pilot and flying J at the Montana pilot flying J's, which are not pilot flying J's, they're like town pump. But they're still pilot. Right, they're still pilot. So your discount still works here. So that's how it goes. Let's fuel up. <laughs> over here to the side and park where we always park. This is one of our favorite parking areas here at the Flying J in Glendive, Montana. Nice big parking lot. Are you ready for a shower? I think I could go at least probably two, three more days. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's go get us a shower. Mr. Bones don't care. He's just going to sit right there and then we're going to put him to bed. You know, Mr. Bones never showers. He still got dirt on him from Sturgis. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what we're smelling in here. That could be. Mr. Bones, do you stink? Well, I guess not. Okay, that's my hood. <laughs> this is my hood on my coat. You saw my um, Spies Like Us hat. Well, this is the hood on my coat. <laughs> yeah, do you see a pattern here? A pattern. I like yeah. big fuzzy furry things, right? Yeah. The bigger the better. <laughs> All right, we're going to go get a shower. We're going to see what the temperature, the snowstorm, the road conditions, everything. I've got a lot of research to do tonight for tomorrow. We're going to try to make it across Montana, if at all possible. Yep, we'll see. All right, so we will see you in the morning. We're going to take a shower, fix our truck nest. And, and watch a movie. Watch a movie. <laughs> all right, let's go. We'll see you in the morning. Cheese and ham crackers. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
good. <laughs> so we made it to Glendive last night and it was pretty icy and frosty out, but we've got blue skies. The roads are dry. We're taking the back road, Highway 2 across uh, Montana. So far, so good. And um, <coughs> we're gonna see what today brings. Uh, we've already seen some mule deer and uh, that was fun. And uh, it's just gorgeous here in Montana. It is, it's a beautiful state. All right, so we are like 18 miles to Wolf Point where we actually will start Highway 2 then. Yep. Going across the whole state of Montana. Got something to say. Alright, what do you got to say? There's two things on Highway 2 I love. What's that? Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs. Hot Springs! You know we love hot springs. And there is some delicious pizza. Pizza! Pizza and hot springs? That's awesome. That's like uh, around Malta or somewhere like that? Yeah, the pizza is. Alright, we'll show you the, the pizza. The pizza's in this springs. little this little dinky place. Little town. But man, it is good pizza. Yeah. Okay. So let's go right across Montana. We're probably going to stop in the hot springs because we don't have to deliver to Monday. Today is Saturday. Uh, we can just leisurely take our time getting across Montana and uh, stop at the hot springs and eat some pizza. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, I get a beef and cheese pizza there. It's delicious. And I always get double beef. He likes a lot of meat. And I tell the lady making the pizza that I've had their beef pizza with just single meat on it. Uh -huh. And I want double meat. Double meat. And I tell her I will, I will know if she didn't put double meat on <laughs> He harasses the waitress. <laughs> Alright, let's get across Montana. Let's go. If you think it's cold where you are, Take a look at that. One degree. We're coming into the town of Wolf Point, Montana. But if you're an RV transporter, you'll rarely take anything over 13.6. So we're good to go. And now we'll head towards Glasgow on Highway 2. Hey Jeff, you want to stop at Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs? I do. Hot Springs. It's only one degree outside, but this is an indoor hot spring. Sleeping buffaloes indoors. Yeah, so you don't get cold going from the changing room to the water, right? It's indoors. Right. So I get a shower and a soak in a hot tub. Awesome. It's a win-win. Win-win. Let's go to Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs because this is the fun side of RV transport when you don't have to deliver till Monday. That's how you roll when you're the bandits. <laughs> We discovered uh, Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs a few runs ago out here. And it's awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. Highway 2 in Montana near Malta, I think it is. Just when you think it couldn't get any colder. Yeah, right there it is.
get to Sleeping Buffalo, let's go to the hot springs. Parked here at Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs. You ready? Yeah, it's cold as whiz. It's one degree. <laughs> one degree. Inside. Let's go inside. <gasps> Be careful. It's very slick. Almost busted my butt there. Okay, we're inside the Sleeping Buffalo right here. Here's the prices. I think it's only $15 for a dip, so this is a perfect place to come on your break while traveling on Highway 2. So we've paid our admission price, $15, and the pool is all indoors, so it's very hot in there. Um, it's a little cloudy because it's all steamy. Oh, it's really hot in here oh, yeah, and steamy. It's, here. it's awesome. Everything's clouding up. But it's a very beautiful hot springs. Really pretty. Hey, we're here at the Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs. It's one degree outside. It's like 95 in here. Come here, big boy. 95? It's like a thousand degrees in here. It's hot in here. It's really hot in here. But it's a beautiful hot springs. Let's jump in. No, it's beautiful here. Beautiful hot springs. How is it? Well, this pool is the perfect temperature. No, it's not hot and it's not cold. It's just perfect. Perfect temperature. For swimming. Is that one back there? Yeah. It's super hot. It's hot. That one's the, that one's the hot pool. So you get in this warm pool to acclimatize yourself. Yep. And then you get the super hot one. Yeah. You got Yes, this is the super hot pool. Everybody's having a good Saturday daytime today here at the hot springs. We're here at the Sleeping Buffalo Hot Springs and this water you don't even have to get used to. And the minerals are great for us. We've been traveling all yeah, day long. Fantastic. Yeah, it's now this awesome. is the cooler of the pool. Yeah. But it's still warm. Well, they have a sauna um, right over there. All right, there's the hot pool, and they have a sauna in there, so you can go in there, and then there's an extremely cold pool on the other side there. Yeah, we won't we'll be go going in, in no. the extremely cold pool no. at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't see the need in that. Hey, you want to have a splash fight? No. No, I do not want to have a splash fight. <laughs> but now we're going to go get in the hot pool. Let's go get in the hot pool. How hot is the hot pool? like a thousand degrees. A thousand degrees. All right, let's go. Okay, we're in the hot pool. Yeah, and it is super hot. Super hot. It's so hot, it's almost boiling. Uh, at least a thousand degrees. It must be fed directly from a volcano. <laughs> uh, it's 106 degrees. 106 degrees in the hot pool. That's what it says. It's awesome. Now this is the fun side of RV transport. Yeah, <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy ourselves a little bit here, and um, then we're gonna go get some pizza. Yeah, my favorite pizza. Yeah, that's it. The Malta. Malta. All right. All right. Look at him falling asleep on my shoulder. <laughs> Does that just feel too good? This turns me into a sleeping buffalo. <laughs> you are a sleeping buffalo. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Bye. We're leaving Sleeping Buffalo. We're going to head up here to Malta and get us a pizza at yeah. Stretch's Pizza. It's cold as whiz out here. Look. I it's cold. <laughs> look here. It, the parking lot is a sheet of ice. So be very careful if you come in the winter time. Entering 
Malta. Now right up here at this junction of 191, we will make a left and go into the town of Malta to get Stretch's Pizza. But then we'll come back out on this road and head down that way. 13.6, we're fine. And now when you come under the bridge, we're gonna make a left right here, right after the bridge. And Stretch's Pizza is just past the Bank of Malta, right there where that yellow sign is. And we'll just pull in here and we'll get the pizza to go. I don't think parking's a problem in this small town. Okay, so this place is a little hole in the wall. It's pretty cool. You got pinball machines, you got all your arcade games but they make the greatest pizza. We always have to stop in here. We have our Stretch's Pizza. Look at that. Oh, that's some good pizza. It is so good. This Look. pizza is delicious. Hamburger, double meat, cheese. It's just good, hot pizza. And you can't eat it when they first give it to you because it's so hot. You actually have to drive away about 10 miles down the road before you can even attempt to break open the slices because it is so hot. Oops, I got a little cheese mess on the top of the box. Sorry. Uh-oh, some wasted cheese. That can't this happen. This is really good pizza. So if you ever took you through Malta, stop there and stretch this pizza. Okay. Stretch this pizza in Malta on Highway 2, Montana. It's a good stuff. Happening. <laughs> You've actually picked up the phone to do video and show them that I actually do drive occasionally. <laughs> There's Cheryl driving. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> I actually do drive, see? <laughs> I hope we make it there in one piece. Oh, yeah.
see Cheryl is still driving. We're I've been go. relaxing after my hot tub soak. <laughs> and wasn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset? Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. It was. Um, I'm telling you, it's just sometimes it's just worth getting out here and driving and seeing this beautiful parts of America. It's just so beautiful. Well, we are. I'm for not as I'm not as adept at videotaping as Cheryl is. <laughs> We're 4.5 miles away from stopping for the evening. So we're going to fix our truck nest up, go to bed. We're nice and clean. And I uh, had a great day going across Montana, stopping at the hot springs and getting our pizza. And now we'll, uh, it's only 5.13 here in Montana, so the sun just now set. And we're ready to call it an evening. Yep, and we don't have to get up early. Tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's Sunday. We don't have to deliver till Monday. Yep, so we're right. good to go. Just take it easy. All right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Well, good morning. We have delivered our unit. I didn't get any video of it because it was windy and cold and snowy and all that. Yep, so you've seen all that before. They've seen all that before. But we have made our delivery. And now you get to see our beautiful faces. <laughs> but in any case, all that wind, snow, rain, everything that we had to deal with to get this unit delivered, um, we could have gotten it delivered on Friday, but it, it takes till Monday. And sometimes, you know, that estimated delivery is just that it's estimated delivery because they want you to be safe not get it there as fast as you possibly can. Better safe than sorry. Exactly. So it put us a little bit day behind, but that worked out in our favor because guess what? There are loads on the load board, even the backhaul load board, which has not seen loads in forever. Yeah. Right? So we have a backhaul or what reload. they call a reload. It's not really a backhaul. Yeah, it's a reload going down to Southern California. And we are going to California, and then we may do the fun side of RV transport. Who knows? We may go to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico. Andale, andale, arriba! Yeah, we're going down there. Cheryl's going to get it. You know, we're going down there. Cheryl will buy a bag of, bag of penicillin. I'll buy a bag of Viagra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what we're going to Mexico for. Penicillin and Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Fantastic, put that on video. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, you need to leave that in. <laughs> yeah, I should edit that. I'm trying to fiddle in a Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you get if people go to Mexico? It is. <laughs> That's the only reason. Uh, yeah. And um, I might get a big burrito. And a big burrito. All right. In any case, that's up and coming on a video soon to be had. So we are going headed to Pendleton now to pick up our load going to in in a do? In, in Nidio? In Nidio, California, I think it is. And that's all the way down there between Los Angeles and Phoenix or somewhere really south in California. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. So far the weather predictions look great. Yeah. And uh, as we travel towards Pendleton, I'm gonna uh, call and get our Nevada permit and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so if you liked this video, Jeff, subscribe. If you want to subscribe, please help our channel grow. Press that like button. Leave us a comment down below because I will respond to your comments. You know that. And share the video. Yeah, share, share the video. Share it on Facebook. That helps us grow too. Now share it on all that social media stuff. Yeah, please, please help share us grow. Share it on that Facebook thing. <laughs> share it on that Instagram or. Tweet it or whatever Tweet you do. Tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do. In any case, thank TikTok you. TikTok it. TikTok. TikTok. I don't even know what TikTok yeah. is. I tried to start a TikTok and on uh, Transport Bandits, and that just didn't work out very well. I haven't learned how to use that at all. In any case, though, so I'm probably going to not have TikTok. So. Yeah, I think if you're not jumping around in a bikini, you're not allowed on TikTok. I don't think so. <laughs> in any case, you know. We appreciate you guys watching our, our silly videos. We really do love you guys. Thank you so much for watching our videos. The next video we've got for you is 
Oregon to Southern California. So we went from snowy mountains and the prairies. Now we're gonna hit um, Oregon all the way down through the Nevada desert. And who knows what we'll see. So you're gonna come with us. So stay tuned for the next video. Transport Bandits, out. out.